In this video I want to talk about classification of matter and different states we have for different material. So what is matter? Matter is anything occupying space and having mass. So all objects around us consist of matter. If I can give you two examples, here the gases of the atmosphere even though they are invisible, they are matter. And they because they occupy a space and they have mass. On the other hand, sunlight is not matter. Rather, is it this one is the sunlight is a form of energy. So now let's see what are the classification of matter. We can classify matter according to its state or its physical form and its composition so matter exists in three states solid liquid and gases so let's talk about each of each of them so we have solid a solid is rigid it has a fixed volume and shape and in solid matter atoms and molecules pack close to each other in a fixed location. Although the atoms and molecules in a solid vibrate, they do not move around or pass each other. So a solid is a form of matter that has its own definite shape and volume. What are the examples? Wood, iron, paper, sugar are examples of solids. So the particles of matter in a solid are very, very tightly packed. When heated, the solid expands, but only slightly. Because its shape is definite, a solid may not conform to the shape of the container in which it is placed. And the tight packing of particles in a solid makes it incompressible. So it means that when we apply pressure, we don't get a smaller volume. So solids are completely incompressible. And we can classify solids in two classes, crystalline and amorphous. Crystalline, it means that the atoms and molecules <coughs> they are in pattern and they are in a repeating order. But on the other hand, amorphous solids, atoms and molecules do not have any long range order so we can say table salts and diamond are examples of crystalline solids glass and plastic are amorphous solids so the second class of matter is called liquid a liquid has a definite volume but no specific shape so it assumes the shape of container in liquid matter atoms or molecules pack about as closely as they do in solid matter but they are free to move relative to each other giving a liquid liquid fixed volume but not a fixed shape a liquid is a form of matter that flows has constant volume and takes the shape of its container so what are the examples of liquids so examples are water blood, mercury, milk, as you see here in this slide. Liquids are virtually incompressible too, like solids. It means that when we apply pressure, we cannot get smaller volume. So this volume doesn't change. The third class of matter is called gas. A gas has no fixed volume or shape, it takes on the shape and volume of its container and atoms or molecules have a lot more space between them and are free to move relative to one another and that characteristic of gases make them compressible so gases are compressible but liquids and solids are incompressible so what does that mean compressible it means that when we apply pressure we will get smaller volume so when pressure is increasing 
volume is reducing. So what are the examples of gases? We have atmospheric air, methane, carbon dioxide. These are all examples of gases. We have another term called vapor, which is uh, somewhere between gas and liquid. But the word vapor refers to the gas state of a substance that is a solid or liquid at room temperature. For example, steam is a vapor because steam uh, has water molecules at room temperature exist as a liquid. <clears throat> so steam, we can produce steam at the elevated temperature. 